Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to fix uh, iTunes error 3194 in Windows. Now this is a common problem and usually it happens when you want to when you have an Apple device like an iPhone or an iPad or an iPod touch and you want to restore the firmware to a custom firmware or to a jailbroken firmware sometimes or in some cases if you want to downgrade from a newer firmware to an older one you get this 3194 now don't be alarmed I mean it's not a big deal to get this error it's a common problem and it's an easy fix if you, if you follow the instruction which is I'm gonna show you step by step what we will do basically it's not gonna harm anything in your computer or your device uh, what we will do we will temporarily disable the Apple's uh, firmware signing service and then we're going to enable it again after we finish whatever we're going to do. First thing we want to do is to exit iTunes if you have it open. And I want to apologize for my accent. I'll try my best to explain it uh, the best way I can. I'm going to go to iTunes. Uh, I'm going to exit iTunes. Then I'm going to go and locate uh, something called hosts. It's a file that uh, you know uh, placed there by Apple on your, on your computer. So we're going to go to my computer, we're going to go to the C drive or wherever we have the, our operating system in, we're going to go to Windows and then we're going to go to System32. After that we're going to go to Drivers and then ETC and then we're going to see the hosts file over here. Uh, it looks like there's no program that's going to open it but all you got to do is just double click on it and then it's going to ask you which program you want to use. We're going to use the notepad. Uh, it's installed in every computer so it should be easy. Then hit OK. You see the host file is open right now. All we got to do now is uh, take this right here. We're going to copy it. And we're going to go to the host file. We're going to put it here. At the end of the all this text. We're going to save it. And then we're going to exit. After that, <clears throat> what we need to do, excuse me, we're going to open iTunes again. Whenever iTunes is open, now you want to connect your device. I don't have a device on hand right now, iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch. Just connect your device uh, and you want to put it in DFU mode. Now, most people know how to do that, but in case if you don't, after you connect your Apple device, uh, turn off your device and then after that you wanna press on the power button and in the home button at the same time for 10 seconds after the 10 seconds you wanna release the power button but keep pressing the home button now whenever iTunes tells you that the device is now in uh, recovery mode then you release the home button and you're gonna see here basically here your device you're gonna click on it and you will see here update of the and you will see here restore now you want to click on restore and before you click on restore you want to make sure to press the shift button and then click on restore this way uh, iTunes will allow you to browse for the custom firmware that you want to do uh, an update to or the jailbreak of firmware then you select it and you you know you let iTunes finish the updating process and you will not face this issue anymore now whenever uh, you finish updating your device to the custom firmware or the jailbroken firmware uh, and everything worked out fine hopefully uh, you wanna delete this text from the host file so you will bring everything back to the way it was before and in the future if you wanna do update you won't face any issues so we wanna go back to the host file double click on it as you can see it's uh, it's still here so we're gonna delete this part then we're gonna save the file and then we're gonna exit and that's it now we completed the whole process uh, I want to take the chance to uh, to invite you also to our website uh, it's, it's a great website it's 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 one of the top out there to, to unlock and jailbreak your Apple device uh, we cover the latest firmware which is the untethered jailbreak for 4.3.2 untethered basically means that uh, 
whenever you jailbreak your iPhone, your your iPad or your app, your uh, iPod Touch, you don't you don't have to uh, to connect your device to the computer every time your device reboots or if you lose power in order to 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 have your your Cydia there or your jailbroken status there. So you jailbreak it once and that's it. Now here you will see all the benefits. I'm sure you know uh, you can go to it and check it out yourself. I'm gonna put the text for the address for the website there. It's unlocker.ws uh, backslash apple backslash. Uh, here you will see the compatible devices. It's it's uh, even if you you wanna sign up, you know it's a, it's a good idea to check it out because uh, we cover the iPhone 4, 3GS, 3G, 2G, the iPad. Uh, the iPod Touch and the Apple TV, and here you will see a complete list of all the devices that you can jailbreak, including the 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 firmware. And we will tell you if if it's untethered jailbreak or just a jailbreak, and if you can unlock it or not. Uh, one of the, the the great things right now available is the the unlock for the iPhone 3GS 4.2 all base bands, and it's all untethered. So. There's a lot of great benefits. I'm sure there's a lot of people know how to jailbreak and unlock their devices on their own, but uh, it's 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 a big investment in the Apple device that you have. It's it's expensive device, so unless you already you really know what you're doing, wouldn't recommend doing it yourself. But uh, thank you for your time, and I hope and I hope you know I was able to help, and I would really appreciate your feedback, your comments on on the YouTube. Thank you.